Exoftic has developed a series of videos for the selection and design of stormwater management facilities for land disturbance projects. This video gives an overview of the philosophy and processes for design. The stormwater management regulations have evolved over time. The latest Virginia Stormwater Management and the VSMP permit regulations are developed by the Department of Conservation and Recreation, or DCR. The regulations require that all operators shall develop, implement, and enforce procedures to reduce pollutants in any stormwater runoff to the regulated small MS4 from construction activities. Any land disturbance one acre or more come under the purview of these regulations. There are situations where more stringent requirements would apply. In areas subject to the Chesapeake Bay Preservation Act, all land disturbance 2,500 square feet or more will need permitting. The regulations further require water quality compliance for each hydrologic unit code or HUC of the development project except in cases where compliance is achieved under a comprehensive stormwater management plan. Water quantity control for channel and flood protection is also required for each outfall where the stormwater leaves the project right of way for the receiving channel. SMSOFT VA not only provides computations for runoff and pollutant load reductions for different practices, but also helps in selecting and designing the right types of BMBs. Energy balance analysis, reservoir routing and water balance analysis are done where required. Before we get to the design, we need to understand the philosophy behind these regulations. As the storm runoff leaves rooftops, driveways, pavements and shoulders, forests and open areas and moves towards the receiving channel streams or rivers, it picks up pollutants, more notably, phosphorus and nitrogen. The following slides are taken from the DCR manual. Storm water management facilities are provided in order to reduce these pollutant loads from entering the receiving waters. If such storm water facility can reduce the pollutant load by say, 50%, the total pollutant load at the receiving channel is reduced to 50%. If however we provide a BMP, which can reduce the total runoff volume by 50% in addition to reducing the pollutant load by 50%, then the total pollutant load at the receiving channel is reduced to 25%. This will substantially improve the quality of the channel or stream. How do we achieve this? Unlike in the past, when we used to treat stormwater for quality and quantity control near the outfall just before the runoff left the project or the right-of-way, the new approach is to start controlling the runoff right from the source. The runoff management treatment train approach consists of runoff volume minimization at source, on-site water treatment and providing structures for water quality, channel protection and flood control before it gets to the receiving channel. It is expected that for each development site, a stepwise process is put in place for site compliance. The emphasis is to provide low-impact designs or environmental site designs that can achieve runoff and pollutant load reduction ahead of structural BMPs. There is always the last resort that mitigation fees are charged by the agency if target load reductions cannot be achieved for a specific project. Coming to the stormwater treatment practices, the DCR Clearinghouse provides specifications and efficiencies for a number of low-impact BMPs like simple disconnection, vegetated filter strips, green roofs, storm water planters, dry wells, rain gardens, permeable pavements, grass channels and rainwater harvesting and traditional structural BMPs like extended detention ponds, wet ponds, infiltration basins, bioretention basins, constructed wetlands sand filters, swales and specially manufactured devices. SMSOFT VA provides for all these facilities, excluding manufactured devices which are proprietary items. In order to translate the above philosophies and design procedures into software, we need to follow the treatment train approach. Linear development projects like highways and interchanges can have many hydrologic unit boundaries, while site development projects may be confined to a single hydrologic unit boundary. Each HUC can have a number of outfalls, where the project runoff leaves the right-of-way or enters the receiving channel. Individual outfalls may have a number of BMPs or none at all. In the example shown here, B 
BMP1 is the upstream BMP to BMP2, which is upstream of BMP6. BMP3 and 4 are likewise upstream of BMP5, which feeds to BMP6, which could be an extended detention basin or a constructed wetland leading to outfall 1. Runoff from BMP7 may be a simple disconnection not contributing to any increase in runoff at outfall 1. In addition, outfall 1 may receive direct runoff from other areas. All these need to be factored into the design. In summary, a project can have many hydrologic unit boundaries. Each hydrologic unit boundary will need to be checked for water quality compliance. Each HUC can have a number of outfalls where the project runoff leaves the right of way. Each outfall will need to be checked for quantity compliance for channel and flood protection. Likewise, each outfall may require many BMPs or there may be no BMP. Performance of each BMP needs to be analyzed both for runoff reduction and for pollutant load reduction. Proper design of each of these facilities is also required. SMSOF VA guides you through this entire design process. Before one gets into the design, it is expected that the designer will have all necessary hydrologic unit boundaries, soil maps and hydrologic soil groups, overall topographic and site plans with pre- and post-developed condition land use, drainage area boundary delineations, locations of outfalls and the proposed stormwater management facilities. All information necessary for performing comprehensive hydrologic and hydraulic computations both for pre- and post-development runoff conditions for the required design storms is also needed. This concludes the overview of the design philosophy and the process for meeting water quality and quantity compliance for stormwater management. The next video will explain procedures for setting up project database files using SMSoft VA.